Marvel video this week. Uh, I was mostly done with Nintendo Power Retrospective stuff, but this is kind of Nintendo Power Retrospectives adjacent. Done's the wrong term with Nintendo Power Retrospectives. Putting it on hold for a bit until Nintendo settles things down. However, um, I am recording this in the week end of October 19th. And in this past week, Analog announced an upcoming release date for the Analog 3D, which is their FPGA-based console that will handle N64 games. I have thus far for um, Nintendo Power Perspectives for N64 games been using an actual N64 with the um, upscaler uh, with a uh, RetroTink 4K upscaler. Um, and I haven't seriously considered picking this up. Um, and the uh, Analog 3D when it comes out for uh, multiple reasons. Uh, but probably one of the big ones being what we're getting into this video, which is what I want. What will be the thing that makes me want to pick up the analog 3D that gives it that edge over um, using original hardware? Or that, um, for me, because I have the analog, the uh, RetroTank 4K. Uh, if you don't have RetroTank 4K, analog, it's a, $250 device that's significantly less expensive than getting an analog 4K. So, like that has you covered there. But since I've got the since I've got the retro tank and I can use that for my N64, for um other consoles, for getting my PlayStation 3 upscaled, for um once I get the optical drive issues and stuff cleared up, getting my getting my um PlayStation 2 upscaled and that sort of thing. Um, what does the N64 give me? Or I should say the analog 3D give me that the N64 doesn't. And what, what do I want that will make that, that big, worth the jump? And I think it is quite simple. And this is my sealed envelope thing, because this will, by the time this video goes up, the console will be available for pre-order. And hopefully by this point, people like my life in gaming, um, like Polygon, uh, like Nintendo Life, all of them will have gotten a chance to have hands-on with the device and can answer some of these questions. So my sealed envelope thing that I want is virtual memory cards and save data management, where I can plug in my N64 controller with a memory card in it, dump my saves to the console. I can create virtual memory cards onto a micro SD card, plug it into the device. Um, I can transfer saves between memory cards, or I can just have a different memory card per for each recognized game, something like that. And the reason I want this is quite simple. For, by comparison, the PlayStation, that was a console which, in addition to working with optical discs and having a ability to having a BIOS where you can do a media player with visualizers, it also had save data management where you could just power on the device with the memory card memory cards in and no um, disk in the game. And you can just access your game saves, transfer them between memory cards, delete them entirely, whatever you needed to do to free up space. That... The N64 does not have that. It operates on the perspective of it doesn't, we don't need a BIOS. We're loading everything directly off of the cartridge, which means when it comes to save data management itself, it sucks. It sucks horribly. And it makes it for a really obnoxious console to use in that respect. Instead, if I want to do save data management, I have to have a game that does, that has it built in at the software level. Some game developers like Midway do this. Other game developers don't, um, which is an onerous issue when you have games which are dependent on the play on requiring like most of a memory card or even the entire memory card to use. So just having the ability to go, okay, generate a new memory card for this game, even let me label it if it doesn't label itself. Um, would be wonderful. That is what I want out of the analog 3D more than 
anything else. If it can give me that, it is worth its, uh, from a playing in 64 game standpoint, it makes it worth its weight in gold. Like, I, I like and appreciate being able to take out memory cards and do other things with them. Um, I like the fact that I can, if I'm playing Blit, NFL Blitz, I can save my playbook to an N64 memory card and take it to ground control or another arcade that has NFL Blitz slotted in there and use my playbook when I'm playing against the computer or another person. But what makes this work, our ideal is for all the other games where I, I don't need to try to take the memory card around with me. Just having it on the device is great. That, 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 that's what I need. That's what I want. That's what I want the analog thir uh, 64 or 3D to provide. I hope this isn't too much to ask. It does have some file management stuff in there that I've seen in, in uh, the screenshots they provided, but they have not put out any sort of, as of this recording, back or other information regarding how save data is handled beyond saving and loading and the save states that are supported in the device operating system level. So this would be a massive, wonderful thing. And for certainly lots of other people, especially people who have picked up N64 games that use a lot of memory card space. Also for that matter, because one of the things that they're advertising with this is 8-Bit Doe's new uh, N64 controller. And I don't think... We or wireless in particular, and I don't think that thing has a slot on the bottom for your N64 uh, memory card. So we're going to see how that works out. I'm looking forward to seeing the end result. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe, and also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, Toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.